Hello, so do you know how to solve such a nice maths Olympiad question? So worry not, I want us to work it out within the shortest time possible. So make sure you watch this video up to the end. So let's now begin with our solution. So the solution is this. So we have 3 to the power of a, then multiply by 3 to the power of a is equals to 30. So the first thing that we need to do, or we can recall that when you have a to the power of m, again multiply by a, to the power of n so this one can also be written as a to the power of m plus plus n so that is to mean that 3 to the power of a multiplied by 3 to the power of a can also be written as 3 to the power of a plus a so finally we shall now have 3 to the power of 2 to a so meaning that 3 to the power of 2a so 3 to the power of 2a should be is now is equals to should be now is equals to 30. So now how do you now work out the value for a in this case? So the best thing now is to introduce both sides the log. So let's now introduce the log. So we shall have now the log of 2 to the, the log. So the log of 3 to the power of 2a. Now that is equals to the log of 30. So when we have in this case the log of... So when you have the log of m to the power of p this one can also be written as p the log of the log of m so that is to mean that now we shall have now instead of having the log of 3 to the power of 2a so we shall have 2a the log of 3 is equals to the log of of 30 so from there now we shall divide both sides by the log of 3 so here also by the log of 3 so log 3 and log 3 shall cancel so we shall remain with 2a. So now we shall have our 2a here is equals to the log of 30 all over the log of the log of 3. So let us simplify this and see the answers that we shall get. So we shall say that. So we can still factorize this maths problem by now writing 2a is equals to. So here now we shall have the log into bracket. So we shall now pick 3 multiply by 10. Then we close the bracket, still all over, the log of 3. So when we have the log of A, the log of AB, so this one can also be written as the log of A plus the log of B. So now we shall now have our 2A to be now is equals to the log of 3 plus the log of 10 all over the log of, all over the log of 3. So since we have all over the log of 3, we shall divide both sides by the log of 3. So 2a is equals to, so we shall have log 3 all over the log of 3 plus log 10 here all over the log of the log of 3. So log 3 and log 3 shall cancel. So now our 2a is equals to, so when it cancel now we shall have 1 plus the log of 10 all over the log of the log of 3. So remember that when you have the log of A all over the log of B, so this one can also be written as the log of A to the base to the base of B. So the log A to the base of B. So in this case now 2A shall now be equals to 1 plus the log of 10 to the base to the base of 3. So from here so in order for us to remain with a alone we shall divide both sides by 2 so here now we shall divide by 2 then this side also we shall divide by 2 so 2 by 2 shall now cancel so now our a shall now be equals to 1 so we shall now have 1 plus again uh, 1 plus the log of 10 to the base of 3 all over all over 2 so then what we shall now end up with so when we simplify this maths problem now we shall now have a to be equals to 1 over 2 plus so here now we shall also have a half the log of 10 to the base of 3 so let's now simplify it fully so we shall now finally have a to be now is equals to so we shall have a half then we shall have a half into bracket the log of the log of 10 to the base of 3 then finally plus plus 1 plus 1 so now these are now qualifies to be our correct answer when working it out 
So if you feel that we have worked this maths problem in the best way possible, please don't forget to give us a like and most importantly, subscribe to our channel.